Hello, and welcome to the Windows 7 Tips for Engineers screencast. My name is Jeremy Rignaris, Product Marketing Manager here at SolidWorks. Every day, we use engineering tools that all have their own unique ways to make engineers more productive. Sometimes, however, we overlook the foundation that they typically run on, the Windows operating system. Now, with Windows 7 becoming ever more popular, we're finding a lot more ways that we can use the operating system to become more productive, find things easier, quickly compare different sources of data, and just work faster. I'm personally a big fan of Windows 7 and see it as a leap in what the operating system is capable of. I've broken down the screencast into key areas so that you can focus on what's most important to you, so feel free to use the navigation to view each segment as needed. The first thing most new users recognize when they go into Windows 7 for the first time is the newly revised taskbar. Gone are the separate application icons and separate tasks. They're actually all combined into one convenient, nice large icon. This makes finding what you're working on a lot easier than it ever has been before. To add an application to the taskbar, simply right mouse click on the application icon and choose Pin to Taskbar. Now that application will stay there even when you close the application. You can move it wherever you want. An old Windows favorite of mine is to use the Windows key and the number associated with where the application is located on the taskbar. In this case, we're going to press Windows 2 to launch SolidWorks. Another great new feature of Windows 7 is Jump List. If you're working on an engineering project, this is great as it allows you to really access the most recently opened documents. You can even pin some of your favorite documents. This might be the current project that you're working on or key assemblies that you need to be designing. Windows has always had the ability to use Control plus Tab to toggle between the open documents within an application, but now Windows 7 includes these nice previews. You just hover over the application icon and you can see all the documents that are open and simply select the one that you want to work on. It makes it a lot faster finding what you really need to be working on. Today a lot of people are using widescreen monitors, and to really make use of this real estate, you can actually move the taskbar anywhere you want on the screen. Simply unlock it and drag and drop it. And you'll see that the taskbar works the same wherever it is on the screen. With Windows 7, it's no doubt that it's easy to multitask, but you may find that you have a lot of windows open on your screen at the same time. Windows 7 added something new that makes it really easy to declutter your screen called Windows Shake. Simply shake a window and you'll notice that all the other documents on the screen minimize. This makes it for a really clean desktop. When looking in Windows Explorer, we have lots of ways of viewing our files and if your CAD tool or your engineering tool is fully integrated into Windows 7 such as SolidWorks, you can see that immediately we get nice previews. Are there some other ways we can look at this? Absolutely. You can actually change the view style, for example, to details. Then, if you wanted, you could go ahead and group these by the types of documents. So in the case of a tool like SolidWorks, it separates the assemblies from the parts, making it a lot easier to find what I actually want to work on. We can also change to different size thumbnails. This makes for a really nice preview of all of our components, and we can even minimize certain types of documents because we group them. In this case, we minimize the assemblies because we wanted to find a part. If you want to bring everything back, such as your CAD application, just reshake the window and they all come back. Another tip here is Windows Home will actually do this for you as well. Another great new tool, and one that a lot of people have probably seen on TV, is side-to-side -side window snapping. When you need to work in two applications at once, this is really easy. Simply drag and drop each application to the left or right side of the screen and they'll snap. You can see here that I'm looking at Windows Explorer and SolidWorks side by side. This makes this drag and drop operation a lot easier than it would have been in the past. To restore an application, you'll notice no longer do we have to actually use that Minimize Maximize button in the upper right hand corner. You can simply drag on it and move it, and Windows actually restores it to its original size. A nice way to actually view all of your open applications is with the Alt-Tab key combination. This shows you all of your individually opened applications. However, Windows has actually had a really nice way of looking at this since Windows Vista as well. And this is called Arrow Flip. 
holding down the Windows in Tab key, you can see that we can flip through our open applications. This is a really nice way to quickly get to the application that you need to focus on. Finding anything on your computer can be a pretty big challenge, but Windows 7 has really gone a long way to improve this with the new integrated search. Right from the start menu, we can search for anything. This could be things like the control panel, or how do I add a printer? We'll just type in, how do I add a printer? Or simple applications even. You can type in things like the calculator. But it doesn't just stop there. This can be used to actually find specific files that you're looking for. So for example, if I'm looking for a roller bearing, I can just type in roller bearing and it shows up in my search. I can even drag and drop right from the search menu into my CAD application. This makes finding and using those documents a lot easier. But it doesn't just stop at the start menu. It's integrated into Windows Explorer as well. You can see that as I type search, I get a list of documents in this folder that meet that criteria. I can further filter this by the type of document that I'm looking for. So if I know that I'm specifically looking for a part, I can narrow that down as well. As an added bonus, if your CAD tool integrates into Windows Search, you can actually look for documents right inside of it. In this case, SolidWorks has Search integrated right into it. This makes finding what you need to work on faster than ever before. Accessing all of your files at the right time in the right places can be a pretty big challenge, but Windows 7 has some great tools to really make this a lot easier. Right inside of Windows Explorer. Let's take a look. One of the first things that we notice is that Windows Explorer has favorites integrated right into it. It's pretty easy for me to go ahead and add a favorite. I just go to a folder that I want to work with, right mouse click, and say add location to favorites. And now I've added a new location. This might be a current project or a set of files that I need to access regularly. You may also have some network file locations that you need to work with on a regular basis. You can actually right mouse click on any folder and say make available offline and Windows will actually sync these files locally on your machine. This way if you're working on a laptop you can actually bring your work home, make changes to it and when you come back it'll sync to it. You can see here that as I actually pull the network cable from the laptop that I'm working on, you can see that my network drives go dead. We'll give it a second here for my computer to recognize that it doesn't have a network connection. As soon as it does, you'll see that we can still access those offline folders. We actually see a list of folders that would be in there, but that aren't available. However, this project is available all the time. Now, as I plug my Ethernet cable back in, you can see that the rest of the files come back online. This is a great way if you're working in a mobile environment. Another great new enhancement to Windows 7 is the new libraries. Libraries are a little bit different than the classic My Documents, My Videos, and My Pictures. They're actually a library of multiple files and folders if you want them to be. For example, in my SOLIDWORKS environment, I have a couple different file locations that I need to reference regularly. We simply say include a folder and find those multiple locations. In this example, I want my templates and I want my design library which houses a lot of my commonly used files. As I add these to my library, you can now see that it consists of both locations. This is nice because I still want to keep the files segregated, but there are times where I need to work with them together. Finally, if you work in a multi-user environment and you need to collaborate and you have some files on your computer and you want to share them, this is a lot easier in Windows 7 than it's ever been before. Simply right click on a folder and say share with and choose specific people. You can even search on your domain or your work group. In this case, I'm going to search for Darren Henry and give him read-write access. You'll see that Windows even gives me a link to generate an email to send him that gives him instant access to that file location. Some great new little applications that Windows 7 has either included or enhanced are available in Windows 7. The first one is a great new support tool. The easiest way to get to it is to search for it. Choose record a problem 
and this will actually bring up recorder that will record individual step-by-step -step screenshots as well as any comments that you'd like to add. So in this case we've captured a screenshot and added a comment here. We'll leave this running while we continue on. Another great new tool is Sticky Notes. Just like the Sticky Notes you probably have all over your office or cubicle, these work in quite the same way except on the desktop of your computer. These are a great way to add simple reminders. For instance, maybe we need to order those bearings we looked at in an earlier video. Another new tool, not so much a new tool as an enhancement to an old favorite, is the calculator. This calculator now includes scientific, programming, and statistical type calculators. This is great for those complex calculations that you might be doing. The final thing we'd like to look at is not so much, again, a new application, but a great enhancement to an old favorite, WordPad. WordPad can actually now open Microsoft Word documents. This is great for things like spec sheets or instruction documents that you need to be able to open. Finally, you can see that we return to our problem step recorder and we can add one last final comment. So what do you do with this if you need a little bit of support with your Windows session? Go ahead and say stop recording and it'll ask you to save it as a zip document. You can then send this zip document off to anybody. It might be your internal IT support or maybe your reseller who helps you with your software. With this, they'll get screenshots of all the individual steps that you took as well as all the comments that you made while doing that. One challenge that engineers face a lot when looking at a new operating system is maintaining legacy applications. Our friends at Baker Engineering had a similar problem. They were trying to maintain their old 2D documents, but their application wasn't supported on Windows 7 x64 bit. They couldn't even get it to install. So did they have to stay with Windows XP? No. They actually turned to a great new feature inside of Windows 7 called Windows XP Mode. Windows XP mode uses Windows virtualization to run a session of Windows XP right on the Windows 7 desktop. It's so tightly integrated that it even recognizes all of the drives and network locations on the host computer. This means that Baker didn't have to abandon their old applications including their old CAD tools, their old ERP tools, and some other business management software that they were running on Windows XP. It was so integrated that they could even plot and print right from the host computer. This is great as it means that they were able to take full advantage of Windows 7 and still maintain all of their old applications. So if you're being held back from migrating to Windows 7 due to some older applications, Windows XP mode might be just right for you. One way engineers can really make use of their Windows 7 time is through the use of hotkeys. Hotkeys are a great way to quickly access anything inside of Windows 7. And there's a lot of them tied to that special little key in the lower left hand corner, the Windows key. Let's take a look. You may want to be maximizing, restoring, or minimizing an application. This can be easily done by using the Windows key plus the up or down arrow. This will toggle between maximize, restored, or minimized. If you're using multiple monitors, and unfortunately we aren't here, you can move an application from one monitor to the next extremely quickly using the Windows key plus the Shift key plus the left or right arrow, depending on which side the monitor is that you want to move to. A hotkey we spoke about in one of the other videos is quickly accessing those first five applications on the taskbar. Using the Windows key with the corresponding number key, example 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, in this case we use 3 to launch Windows Media Player, we'll launch that application. If you've got to give a presentation for maybe an engineering review, using Windows P will quickly access the projector settings. This is great for quickly displaying on multiple monitors or dual monitors or a projector if you need to. The Mobility Center is another great way to quickly access a lot of controls. This can be accessed by using the Windows plus the X key. This gives you access to things like your wireless settings, your battery, your volume, the sync center, or the projector settings that we looked at before. 
Going back to the taskbar, if you don't like moving your cursor down there, another way to quickly access this is by pressing Windows T. This will cycle down to the taskbar, and then you can use the left and right arrows to cycle through the applications on the taskbar. This is just an alternative way of using the taskbar. If you quickly want to access your desktop, Windows D will quickly hide all of your applications, minimizing them, showing the desktop. If you need to use Windows Explorer often, using the Windows key plus E will bring up Windows Explorer. One of the things that's hard to show in a video is Windows L will actually lock your computer. This way if you need to step away for a few minutes and you have some valuable information on the screen that you don't care to share, you can lock your desktop if you need to. A great little tool is the magnifying glass. Pressing Windows plus the plus key will bring up a magnifier. You can actually use Windows Plus and Windows Minus to zoom in and out. When you're finished, simply hit Windows Escape and it'll remove the magnifying glass. Toggling between all the open applications can be done using Arrow Flip using the Windows Tab key. This will bring all the applications up in a nice flip orientation. Alternatively, you can use the old-fashioned Alt Tab if you want as well. Just like Alt-Tab can be used to cycle through applications, Control-Tab can be used to cycle through open documents within an application. This is a great way to quickly find the document that you need to work on. Another way to do this is by holding down the Control key and actually clicking on the application icon. You can see here in SolidWorks we can cycle through the open documents inside of SolidWorks. If you need to run an application as an administrator, you can actually hold down Control plus Shift plus clicking the application icon and you'll actually be presented with the option to run it as an administrator. Unfortunately, due to the video capturing software, you can't see the UAC controls coming up to confirm this action, but we did run it as an administrator. If you want to run a new instance of an application, you can hold down the shift key and click the application icon and that will launch a separate instance of that application. If you need quick access to the task manager, this can be quickly accessed by pressing control, shift, and escape. This way if you need to terminate an application or quickly get into it, this is a lot faster than the old control, delete, selecting task manager. Finally are some old Windows classics for cut, copy, and paste. Selecting any document and pressing Control c will copy it. Pressing Control v will paste it. But another way to do this is actually just to hold down the Control key and drag the document. This will create a copy of it. Hopefully some of these hotkeys are really valuable and will save you a lot of time when working in Windows 7. For more information, please view the PDF that we've supplied as well with all these hotkeys included in it. My name is Jeremy Rignaris, and I thank you for watching this screencast. For more information and to see other screencasts like this, please go to SolidWorks.com forward slash screencasts.